might have not heard of Sheena before, but I reckon you've listened to her. She's performed alongside some of the biggest names in the music industry, such as Mariah Carey, James Brown, Charlotte Church and Amy Winehouse, but to name a few. She's also featured on various dance tracks, such as Michael Gray's hit single, The Weeknd. But Sheena's never really had a solo career of her own, until now. I think I'm ready now. I wasn't ready before. I wasn't ready, and I don't just mean ready in terms of vocally, and I just think in terms of everything. It's not just about standing on the stage and and being a great singer and, and like having good songs. It's, it's all the other stuff that goes into it. It's the discipline that comes off the screen that people don't see. You know, the not the choosing not to drink, you know, because you know that you've got a gig in a couple of nights' time and it's going to sound awful if, you, if you've been drinking or, you know, you can't do certain things that you would normally do. It's, it's, it's a relief. It's like, yes, finally, finally, you know, you, you know it's, it's like being, I, the best way to compare it to is being, it's like feeling like you're a bridesmaid and never getting to be the bride and eventually you get to be the bride. That's what it feels like. It's, it's just like, right, now it's my turn. Right, I'm gonna milk it, you know. You stare at me. So just imagine all the things I'm gonna do. Ain't nobody can Fans of 70s disco will be pleased to hear that this is the direction Sheena's decided to take with her debut record, One Man Woman. Disco's had a hard time in the mainstream since its heyday. There of course have been similar pop acts, such as Carly Minogue or the Scissor Sisters, but looking at the video for Sheena's new single, My Fantasy, we can see those big afros and flares back on the dance floor. So anyone who likes or appreciates disco music is gonna, you like it, cool, <laughs> um, is, gonna, um, is gonna love this, is gonna love this um, album because it's just, you know, it's if you know the chic and, and emotions and um, Earth, Wind and Fire. This particular song, um, I'd say, is very heavily influenced by Earth, Wind and Fire, uh, Boogie Wonderland, to be to be exact, um, because we we love that era. You know, my husband and I, his producer and co-writer, um, we love that era, and and we decided that was what we were going to do. We wanted something uplifting and funky, and like disco the first time round. You know, which happened to be in the middle of recession, we thought, you know, why not do something like that, you know, and get people going and all the rest of it. So we've done, you know, the, the, the song is very, I think, quite hooky. Got lots of the brass and the strings and, and very sing-along kind of song, very uplifting. And the video is, is something that you won't expect to see. <laughs> you won't see anywhere else. Well, expect some cool dance grooves in clubs too. And it might just not end there. I think my fantasy would be the O2 Arena, packed, full, um, everyone singing my songs, um, just having one hell of a party in the O2. That would be it for me. And I could just, you know, go to bed the next day and that would be it. I would, if I didn't wake up, I'd be like, so what? <laughs> yes, we can see that happening. Bring it on, Sheena. That's what we've got to say.